Hey guys, I hope you're doing okay. Um, I I have some really cool news I want to share with those of you that are that are um, hoping for the rapture. There's some new stuff that I discovered, but um, first I wanted to talk about this this storm that we've been having because I I saw this. Um, I was on MSNBC today and I saw this article that said spring delayed for much of the US and it was it was this article right here and it's talking about all these storms that they're having um you know and we were supposed to start spring on the 20th and they're kind of like saying it's delayed and um and it made me think of this scripture in Matthew 24 where Jesus said pray that your flight be not in the winter remember that and I you know I never really understood that I, I never really understood why he said that it's kind of a weird thing to say but that word, here it is right here, that word, though, that means winter, that is usually translated as winter, it also means stormy weather. So that's kind of, that's kind of bizarre, right? And if you, I mean, I'm really freaking out. And for those of you that feel um, discouraged right now, I want to offer you a couple of empowerment tools and some encouragement. Because... Um, first of all, any time that uh, this is just me, okay, I'm just going to talk for, uh, speak for myself here, because I know all of you that are on my channel, I know that you're really smart, you you get it, you understand scripture. I don't have to, you know, I don't really have to say this for you, but anybody that's watching this that is maybe kind of discouraged, thinking, oh, the rapture didn't happen, you know on March 20th through the 22nd. I just want to make sure that those people understand that any time we're watching a specific period of time, for example, March 20th through the 22nd, which, by the way, we had an unprecedented event happen during that watch period. So it's not... Uh, it was not a watch date that didn't come to pass. It was a watch date that did come to pass. Okay, we had an unprecedented event on that watch period. It wasn't the rapture, but it was an unprecedented event. So I just, but what I wanted to say for those of, for if anybody's watching this that's feeling discouraged, thinking that they thought, you know, it was going to be the rapture, um, I just want to share with you and I'm looking for the scripture here. I want to share with you what I, what's going on in my mind because I, I personally do not feel discouraged. I feel encouraged. And let me share with you why. First of all, any time that I'm looking at a certain period of time, and and that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be watching what's going on. And there's a reason why the angel Gabriel gave us that's those specific time periods those you know look when you see this happen after 1290 days and this happen after 1335 days and 1260 days here and etc the reason we were given those time periods we were given that for a reason we were given that at least for me I feel encouraged by it so it, it lets me know oh my gosh it's really soon it's gonna happen but this is the one thing that I always have in the back of my mind and I want to share this for anybody that doesn't have this in the back of their mind and that is Matthew 24 44 therefore you must be ready you also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect that's the one thing and I'm just sharing you with you what I have always in the back of my mind every time I ever look at a watch period I always have this in the back of my mind it's not going to happen on 
the day that we expect, the hour that we expect. So, so even though I hoped, I always hope that it's the rapture that's going to happen on the next watch period, I'm telling you, every single one of these fulfillments that have happened since the beginning of February, those of you that have been on my channel know what I'm talking about. It's crazy. It's unprecedented. And um, if you know if you're new on my channel, you don't know what this chart is. The link is in the description box. Okay, check it out. Explanation of the chart. But there has been an event in since the beginning of February on every single one of these alignments that comes straight out of the Bible, straight out of the Bible, straight out of the fulfillments that we had in fall of 2012. It's just, it's so frustrating for me that more people don't realize this. It makes, it actually makes me really sad that there are so many people out there that don't understand what this is. They don't understand how amazing it is. They don't understand that just unprecedented events are happening on dates that God already knew about. And this, this chart is proof of that, that God already knew what was going to happen because, because every single one of these dates, look, here was the first fulfillment in fall of 2012, August 2nd, 2012. That was the and I don't want to take up the whole video talking about this if you don't know why that was a fulfillment if you don't know what these three fulfillments are please look at the links below my video because I don't have time to talk about it in this video okay but we had major fulfillments of scripture the abomination of desolation right here on August 2nd absolutely 100 percent was described in scripture to the precise letter please please I'm begging you if you haven't watched that video please do but from that abomination of desolation, August 2nd, seven months later landed us at the beginning of February. And since the beginning of February, we have had an unprecedented event happen on every single one of these alignments. And the alignments are based on God's timeline starting on these fulfillments. So, um, what I wanted to share with you guys is, I think I already told you about, um, you know, this storm that's been going on in um, the United States. And they're kind of saying, like, spring is delayed and, and, um, and all of that. Well, there's something else that I wanted to mention. And I don't, you guys, I don't know. Nobody knows when this is going to happen. But I'm telling you, it is just, it's just blowing my mind, all of this, these fulfillments that are happening of Scripture. And so what I wanted to share with you is, is something that I had not recognized before. And let me see if I can find it in here. Um, I have all, uh, by the way, this document I'm looking at, um, I cover this in my three-part rapture series, which is also linked below this video. Okay, I'm trying to find um, Daniel 11 and 12. So we can talk about that. Oh, here we go. Daniel 12, 11 and 12. This is where it talks about from the, from the time that the position of employment is taken oath until the idol that maketh terror set up, there shall be 1290 days. And blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the 1335 days. Well, I had always thought in the past that that 13 and 35th day would be an event of some kind. Because it says blessed is, are those that, that come to that day, right? But then, I thought, you know what, I better go look and see what these words actually mean. And guess what? It means something different from what we originally thought. It means, well, it means two different things, okay? It, and knowing scripture, knowing what I know about scripture fulfillments, there's usually more than one fulfillment. So it actually probably means both of these things. 
It probably means blessed are those who wait and come to that day. And it probably also means blessed are those who long for and reach for the 1335th day. Let me show you. It means that. It means that, you guys. Daniel 12, this is the concordance. I have a link in the, in the description box below. Blessed is he that waiteth. So this word waiteth is the, uh, the original Hebrew word is chaka. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But anyway, chaka means to wait or um, to tarry or to long for to long for and then this word cometh where it says blessed are those who long for and cometh well check this out the word that is that was translated as cometh the Hebrew word is naga and naga also means reach so to touch, to reach. So if you think about it, if you were um, giving somebody directions, let's say we have two different meanings for the word reach in the English language. If you were giving somebody directions, you might say, um, okay, you go down Main Street and when you reach the stop sign, you turn left, right? That means when you arrive at the stop sign. Okay, but we have another meaning for reach and that is um, when you reach up for something, and maybe you reach up and grab a jar off the shelf, you reach for something. That doesn't mean arrive at. That just means you're reaching for it. You haven't gotten it yet, but you're reaching for it. Okay. This confirms for me, and I'm just blown away, you guys. I'm so blown away by this. But it confirms that this fulfillment of scripture this fulfillment of Daniel 12 11 and 12 really is really is the true fulfillment of that oh my gosh you guys I'm just blown away right now because he said to us it will happen on a day you think not always keep that in the back of your mind but that doesn't mean it's not going to happen in that season it doesn't mean that. It just means it's not going to happen on the day you think it's going to happen. That doesn't mean we're not going to watch days. That's just in our nature. That's just in our nature to say, oh, wow, look, this is a fulfillment of Scripture. Of course we're going to look at those days. But always remember, he said, but it's not going to happen the day you think it's going to happen. Just I always have that in the back of my mind, so I just want to give that tool to you guys so that you have that in the back of your mind, always standing strong and saying, okay, we're watching this day, but remember, the rapture is not going to happen on that day. It's not going to happen when you think it will. You can always hope. I always hope. You guys know that about me. I always hope it's going to happen, but that's that's your strength, that scripture, Matthew 24, 44. Okay, but here's the thing. This has been fulfilled precisely, you guys. It blows my mind. This fulfillment of Daniel 12, 11 right here with the 1290 days to August 2nd and the fulfillment of Daniel 12, 12 with the fulfillment of the 1335 days until Feast of Trumpets. Blessed are those who are longing for and reaching for the 1335th day, the Feast of Trumpets 2012. How many of you guys were longing for the Feast of Trumpets 2012? How many of you guys were reaching for that date, thinking maybe the rapture would happen? I know I was. Blessed are you. Blessed are you for longing for that date. Is that not amazing? Okay, but then what did he say? Matthew 25, what did he say? He said, but... The ten virgins will go forth to meet the bridegroom, but the bridegroom will be delayed. The bridegroom comes and snatches his bride away, remember, right here. But the bridegroom was delayed. Mark 13.35, therefore keep watch because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back. 13.35, the 13.35th day, keep watch. He'll be delayed and come back at midnight. 
I hope you guys are well. I'm out of time.